Now, over the recent weeks, neighbours have been chatting more and there's no doubt community has increased in our streets across the county. This has been, of course, particular interest to the Gloucester Community Building Collective, which has been discussing the many things that have brought people together while staying physically apart. We've enjoyed sharing their stories over the past few weeks on this programme. Uh, Rich Holmes from the Collective has this week been speaking to two neighbours living in the same streets who are keen to continue what they've started. Uh, my name's Paul Traherne and I live in the Linden area of Gloucester. I've um, been living in the street for nearly 23 years. Hi, my name's Matt Williams, uh, lived in Gloucester for a little while, but yeah, I live in Linden too, part of the Linden and Posse. So Matt, uh, you and I spoke probably about three weeks ago, and last time we spoke, yep. you had you held an online quiz for your street. And at the end of yep. our conversation, I challenged you to use your time in lockdown to get to know your neighbours better, hence why Paul is joined on this, on this call. So what have you guys done since we last spoke? Well, we just did another quiz last night. So that was like quiz number two. So we've had a little gap in between the two quizzes. Um, uh, but also, Paul, we did a photo challenge, didn't we? Yeah, we had to send in, I think it was four or five various uh, different photographs. Set in different situations, yeah. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what were your photographs of, Paul? I was dressed, uh, one of them was to pretend you were on the holiday somewhere. And I had an old um, uh, uh, outfit I brought back from um, Tunisia, I think it was, um, a few years ago. So it was with a skull cap and the dress, you know. So that that was one of mine. I can't remember what the others were now, to be honest. Yeah, there was a few. There was a few funny ones. Tea party in the garden, or wearing four. Paul, you wore four coats as well. Remember, it was quite. Oh hot. yeah, yeah, yeah. Four coats. Yeah, in the hottest day of the year. So what do you think you've discovered about yourselves in doing these online quizzes and getting to know each other more? I think it's been good to know people in the street, not just from the hello point of view, we said that last time, but just getting to know each other more, uh, being able to ask questions of each other on the WhatsApp group that we have. There's been a, uh, a baby born in the last month since we last spoke, and that's been really good, obviously being quite anxious for the parents because obviously they're on lockdown and there's not much they can do. It's been really good to see people step forward. So people have been doing meals, uh, meals for them as well. So volunteered to do a meal a day. So that the new family, newborn baby family, d don't have to stress uh, about the cooking side of things. So yeah, that's been good to just see. People are willing to do that. And a lot of people didn't know each other. They didn't know this couple. This couple's a new couple from the last year. So that's been good to see. And Paul, do you think you've discovered skills of, that your neighbours have that you didn't know were there before COVID-19 happened? You know, to be honest, I've, I've lived in the area for over 20 odd years and I must admit, I, don't, I didn't know many of the people that were joining the Facebook at the um, WhatsApp group or the Zoom group, I should say. Um, I only recognised um, two or three people that I actually knew from the street. So it's uh, it's quite shameful really that you know we've all lived in this street for a number of years yet i only know perhaps you know five or six families that live down the street it's it's quite strange really so what do you think you've gained from covid19 that you don't want to lose and obviously it's not it's not been a nice situation for any of us but there are things that we've gained from it that perhaps we don't want to we don't want to lose from it so what would they be for you both the community spirit that uh, Matt is, uh, and others have, have sort of developed in the street should really, really continue. Um, you know, we all have a good laugh. Last night, I thought it was hilarious on that, that quiz. But I, you could see me and Sean wiping our eyes through tears of laughter. And it was, it was such good fun. And it wild away about an hour and a half of it on a Sunday evening. It was, it was really good fun. And, you know, it's something that you know, has been lacking not just in, in our area, but you know, across the whole of the country, I think, you know, where people are more engrossed in their own lives and their own uh, um, uh, problems, where there are other people out there who are, you know, really do have difficulties. And, and the, the young family who, who had the baby a couple of weeks ago, you know, where people are, are, are running around and helping on that, it's great, absolutely great. Really is interesting how communities have changed then. Uh, through lockdown you know you got to know a bit more about the people living nearby caring a bit more about those living nearby maybe than you were before um, um some people are very lucky to live in in communities where they've always felt that type but many many people don't and it seems that there's been a real change there in the linden area rich Holmes uh, from the gloucester community building collective they're uh, chatting uh, to two of those who've 
basically changed, uh, exploring what those uh, what lockdown can do to bring streets closer together while staying physically apart. Really interesting. Uh, let me know if something's changed where you are as well. I'd love to hear your story.